Hello everybody, we are back today at Book of Super Bazaar. This is where I shop the most because they tend to have better quality things for me to resell on Merikari here in Japan. So let's have a quick look at the art section. This looks like a print rather than a proper ink drawing. I believe it's some Hote, the Lucky God Hote. This is beautiful. I love it. I love the simplicity of Japanese drawings like these or paintings like these. It's a little bit pricey, but that's probably because the frame's also in good shape. Now this I didn't buy and it's a Tancho Zuru, the red crowned or red crested crane, my favorite. It's embroidery. It was there for a couple of weeks and I didn't pick it up because it was a bit heavy for me to carry home, but I regret that now. Here's a handmade piece. It might be cute in the kitchen if you like kitsch things. I think if you change the frame to maybe a black wooden one, it would look quite nice. So we're going to spend some time in the ceramic section today. Let's start by looking at the Yunomi teacups. Tachikichi actually has been around since the mid 1700s in Kyoto so it's an old company but they have a modern brand called Adam and Eve this is Arita Ware and see it has three layers so it's three tiers so we call it San Danju San means three now these kind of dishes we would not really use so much at home more for kaiseki restaurants so they put something on top there and then they have another dish inside a bit of a surprise this is a nidanju two layer neat means two and this i don't see so much anymore it was a bit of a popular thing maybe 20 years ago and it's single portion rice cooker basically so uh, you can do it in a microwave. You put your rice in there, you soak it in the water, and then you put it in the microwave and cook it. There's some more of the Adam and Eve plates, and it must be a day for these kind of layered, tiered boxes today. That's a pretty top, isn't it? Let's have a look at the plates now. Thank you. 
was admiring the color of this. I love the blue and the plum blossoms and also the little images of a man probably meditating across from a temple. But then look at the transfer wear. It's kind of like just overlapped and stuck on. I don't know. Maybe it's intentional. I have no idea. So now we are in the Urushi lacquerware section. And this lovely piece is Kamakura Bori. So you can see it's got gorgeous plum blossoms there. This style, they carve the wood first and then they add layers of coatings of urushi lacquer and then they polish it down. So it's specific to the Kamakura area and the Kamakura period as well. So now we've moved on to the chataku, which are teacup coasters for the sencha teacups that you saw earlier. And yeah, some of them can be quite pricey. And then you can get some that are quite reasonably priced as well, like these ones here. These are quite common to see. couple of tea related items there and now we have moved into the pots and pans section and these very heavy pots are nambu teki iron so the same as those uh, very heavy kettles that you're familiar with but with these we would prepare meals like sukiyaki in them okay let's hit the 110 yen section A mimikaki which is an ear pick so ew no <laughs> not second hand please and these are more chopstick rests hashioki i can't really tell the condition on them but i'm gonna pick them up anyway for 110 yen this is just i think it was probably a giveaway by a bank i think they were doing a series but i wanted to talk about uh, this little character so i'm picking it up to explain it later I didn't pick this little Russian spoon up on this occasion, but for Mercari in Japan, I do well with non-Japanese things or contemporary items um, and designer items. I love these tiny little bamboo spoons. And this nutcracker I'm getting for my ginkgo nuts. They're good to uh, smash those. And these, I believe, are for hay fever season for children. We all suffer pretty badly from hay fever from January till April. And this, I'm showing you this box because it's a really weird tradition we have. When we're born, a tiny bit of our umbilical cord is placed in a little box and kept for us. No idea why, that's our tradition. And I am keeping this lacquerware panel for sure. This is an interesting sake cup with its own little stand. That would have been cool if there was more than one, but I left it this time. Okay, let's quickly go have a look at the vases.
I wanted to mention this hood that this little dharma is wearing. She is called an okosozukin dharma, and this is a hood that women used to wear sort of、uh, maybe mid 18th century into the Meiji period, late 19th century. And they used to wear it in the winter, it says on the bottom there what it is,、um, to protect them from the snow. So it's like a hijab, which is, yeah, really interesting. Sometimes you only saw their eyes. So, yeah, have a look on Google and you'll find pictures of that, photographs. And these tiny dishes are from Arita region, Meikoku Gama, Meikoku Kiln. Gama means kiln. And they usually come in huge sets with teapots and larger plates and things like that. Those sold immediately actually after putting on Mercari. And these are the little chopstick rests that I picked up, and they have different florals on each one. Can you see there? They're just kind of roughly hand painted on. I kind of like that.、Um, so I got them in the baggie. Now, you're not allowed to open the bags or any wrapping on anything at Book Off Super Bazaar、um, on your own. You have to go to the service counter, and I didn't because I was being lazy. And I discovered I had cracks on just two of these ones.、Um, so I don't think I want to sell them. I will keep them, but that's fine because I'll use them like this and put my chopsticks on. So, no problem. <laughs> And this is just to crack the、uh, ginkgo biloba nuts, ginnan as we call them in Japan, in the autumn. It's a little bit roughed up, but that's fine. This abacus or soroban as we call it in Japanese has five beads on the bottom and one bead on top. We now have only four beads on the bottom. That's from the 1930s when they changed the curriculum at elementary schools. Originally from China, it had two beads on top and five beads on the bottom. I don't think you saw me pick that soroban up, which was incidentally 55 yen, so about what, 37 cents. So now we're looking at that's the frame part of the lacquer panel I picked up. You can see this is a kabuki actor. Gorgeous, isn't it? It's not a particularly high value item.、Um, I need to give it a good clean still. But I just loved it. I saw it go down in price every other week. So I was happy to pick this up. I think it might have been a panel stuck onto some other furniture. When you look at the back here, and someone has used、uh, cello tape to stick it down to secure it. Yeah, you can see it actually on this crudely cut mat. See where the tape was, but I can still reuse this. I think it's fine.、Um, so I'm just gonna pop it back on there after I wipe it all down. And there's lacquerware produced in various regions in Japan, but this is actually Wajima lacquerware. Wajima. And the frame itself, it's soaking in all the、uh, wood oil. I use this orange one.、Um, I just buy it on Amazon here in Japan. And yeah, so it's pretty old, it's kind of rusty, but I thought it was pretty amazing that this frame actually is a Conran, so it's British. So that's my mix. I'm half British, half Japanese. My accent is a bit weird, but don't worry about that.、Uh, so yeah, it's like me. So I love that. Doesn't it look nice now that it's in the frame? Really pretty. Yay! So, I hope you enjoyed the video today, and I'll be doing kind of videos of shopping as well as markets and areas around Tokyo and other parts of Japan. So, I am super, super, super happy that you're all joining me and watching these videos and liking, commenting. Thank you so much, and see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye.